and just uh, pop your trunk on the driver's side here behind the tail light behind this carpet you're going to see the uh, fuel shutoff switch uh, it's called the inertia switch and it uh, triggers if you get in an accident and the car feels a, a g-force from getting hit and it turns the fuel pump off so we're going to take off these little uh, this little screw thing here we're going to get in behind here and then unplug that sensor so once again we're here behind the tail light inside the carpet and this is what it looks like right here it's just this uh, thing with a little button on the top that you would push down to activate it and then there's just a little tab here that we're going to undo just going to pull up on the front of it and slide it off and uh, then we're going to start the car and eventually there will be no fuel pressure so just pry it up on the top of this and then uh, pulled it down with both hands now start the car and let it idle for a few minutes or until it runs out of fuel. shouldn't take too long, but it can take up to a few minutes. There we go. Okay, and then don't forget to uh, plug your inertia switch back in. Otherwise you'll wonder why the car doesn't start. <laughs> Make sure the button is down too, because when you get in an accident, that's what pops up, cuts the fuel off. Okay, now the real test. Turn the key and listen for that pump to come on. There it is. You'll probably have a check engine light, so uh, you can go to AutoZone and have them turn it off, or in my case, I have a tuner. So I can turn it off with that. So the codes that are going to come up are going to represent that uh, unplugging of the inertia switch. And so if you go to read them, you're going to see that it's the fuel pump driver module, which is a, a little box that's in there that goes near that inertia switch. So it's reading that it's not getting uh, fuel. So. You just uh, go through, and the other one that came up was a lack of um, HO2's switch sensor. So, anyway, just clear those two codes out. Have AutoZone do it if you don't have a tuner, and you'll be good.